Welcome back. I'm Ashley Reed. I'm joined this morning by Dr. Mark Upham, a longtime sanctuary volunteer. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. And I know I understand that you're building a boat at the sanctuary that has great historical ties to the Great Lakes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, we're building a Mackinac boat, which uh, back in the 19th century and probably early 20th century was used throughout the Great Lakes, but mostly in uh, northern Lake Huron uh, as a general purpose boat, a fishing boat, uh, even uh, some... Uh, uh, pleasure boating at that time, uh, and uh, this is a, a, a recreation of that type of boat that was built used at that time. Okay, very neat. And you're building it at the sanctuary. How did that come about? Well, when we were discussing uh, uh, building a, uh, this uh, project, uh, I talked to uh, Pat Labity, who's the eminent historian associated with the uh, sanctuary, okay. and um, it just seemed like a natural fit uh, for their program. Uh, in boat uh, community boat building, which was kind of in transition, and this seems to be a very good fit for them. Uh, it's a great facility for us uh, to build a boat in. Okay, and now have you built, have you done projects like this before, or I guess what kind of motivated you to do this? Oh, I, I liked anything to do with boats, as most people in this community know, um, and uh, I like the intellectual challenge of building a boat, and it's a uh, good uh, uh, exercise in, uh, in woodworking, and it's an opportunity to be with some uh, close friends and uh, um, uh, do something that's uh, relevant to this uh, community in the sanctuary. Okay, and is this something that you've done before then? I've built a few boats uh, in a the past, boats. yes, yeah. Okay, <laughs> and I guess, what is, what is it about it that you enjoy so much? Well, it's a, it's a great intellectual challenge. Uh, boats are uh, um, uh, very complexly shaped uh, objects, uh, so there's no right angles, it's all curves, uh, and uh, a, a lot of the woodworking is just by, by eye. You have to uh, look at the boat and make sure it looks, looks pretty as well as uh, is right. solid and well constructed. Okay, and how long does something like this take? For us, it's uh, hopefully we can do it uh, by this summer, so it'll be about nine months in, uh, in, in built, actual building. Okay, so how many of you are working on it? Well, there's four, main, uh, four of us, uh, Ed Cavanaugh and Phil Jordan and Walt Dockerman, and then a number of people uh, drop in and uh, help here and there, and I, I suppose there'll be more uh, interest as we get closer to completion. Okay, so when did you start? We started in uh, October. Okay, so then it'll be finished, you know, what month this summer? Well, we're, 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 time? we were told not to have a specific oh, okay. uh, uh, end dates, but uh, the sanctuary is having uh, its maritime festival over 4th of July, uh -huh. and we're hoping that we may be part of that. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, um, hopefully by then. Yeah, that was my next question, I guess. What, what do you expect to do with this boat when it's finished? It, it'll be in the museum for how long, and then what happens from there? Well, there, the, there's a group in Tawas, uh, the 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 Heritage Coast uh, Sailing and Rolling Foundation, and they actually commissioned this design uh, two years ago with the idea that community boat building programs throughout uh, the uh, coastal communities okay. of uh, Lake Huron and the Great Lakes would build these, and then the, the once constructed, people would get together and sail their boats and have a good time and uh, uh, compete against each other, and, uh, and uh, we may have up to five boats uh, completed uh, by that time. Um, Very neat. And where are these boats coming from? What different areas? Well, Tawas ha has built one, and okay. there's an, another one being built down there, and uh, Chad Lewis, an uh, uh, Alpena uh, 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 resident, or former resident, uh, is building one uh, up in Marquette, and there's uh, uh, groups that are putting themselves together in Sheboygan, and I believe neat. down in Lake Erie as well. Okay, and then can people come and see this boat in the process right now? Um, yeah, we don't have uh, specific hours, but in general, okay. for the next several weeks, we'll be working mornings, uh, weekday mornings, uh, till b about noon uh, down at the Marine Sanctuary in their uh, uh, boat building building. Okay. Uh, and so, yeah, we'd welcome anybody that wants to come Very look neat. and see. All right, thank you.